Uh, biggest surprise, I think, just the just the depth of detail that that the coaches go into. Obviously, coming from you know, part-time environment previously with TAC Cup, um, you know, you're across certain aspects of the game, but just the, the depth of detail that uh, all the coaches go through, and in particular halves with his midfield work, and just the attention to detail and the depth that you you dig um, to get. You know, the right edits and right information and you know, you're across pretty much every component of the game so um, yeah and that's an investment of time too so it takes a, it takes a fair bit of time to sort of to be across those things but at the same time very enjoyable and a great learning experience too I think first and foremost like you know, look we need to be we need to be more more competitive you know, with our you know, building more competitiveness with our VFL list you know, adding a bit adding a bit more experience to our VFL list look we Primarily, the last couple of years, just looking at the stats. Look, we've been very young um, in terms of our VFL list, and even t to a certain point, our AFL list. Like we're very, very young. You know, you know, we've got a lot of guys under sort of 23. So, certainly from a VFL perspective, like looking to add a little bit more experience, a little bit more strength. Um, also, too, you know, game day, just just the way we, the way, the manner we play, our competitiveness, use of the footy, um, and just the efficiencies based around the game. Yeah, I certainly think it's you know a large large component of that is ingrained in the individual. Yeah, I think it's just it's just something that, that drives you to be better, and you know, and players will yeah you, know, you can see that through their actions. And I think yeah, and, and that and that comes through you know with your target recruiting and things like that. Like yeah, you know, one of the key things that you want to bring into your footy club is one talented players, but you want them to be competitive and because it's a competitive environment and you need to be you need to be a strong competitor to survive you know, even a VFL level because the standard's pretty good I think look, recruiting we're certainly looking at the recruiting side of it um, you know, strongly at the moment and, and trying to get the right type of player not just bring any any sort of player in obviously it's got to be in line with your, your AFL list but again with the competitiveness um, which is which should be you know, which is really important for us and that's that's pretty much a charter from above um, again you know, just improving our skills um, you know, our skill efficiency was down last year with ball in hand um, so we've really got a lot of work to do in regards to that how we use the ball how we retain the ball how we move the footy so from a VFL perspective, they're the areas that will be a strong focus and you know, we'd look to improve that. I think well, coaching, your te coaching your team in your own right is, is certainly an advantage and an attack level um, is certainly a great advantage for myself. I think with the VFL now being, a, it's predominantly a, a younger competition, a lot of guys coming through. So having just been recently at Attack Cup footy and, and having a good, a good handle on who's coming through the system, and those guys that one that are drafted or going into the VFL system, you're across those guys, either with, whether they're with us or with the opposition. So you, you've got a you've got a good understanding of their skill sets. Um, so I think that's certainly an advantage. And obviously coaching your own team and being in control. Again, like real, the game now is becoming such a strong focus on contested footy. Um, just the ability to win inside footy, then then spread from the contest. Certainly an area. From us last year, from the VFL, look, we think we were ranked last with our contested footy, but we got exposed a lot on the outside. So the ability to one win it and then get out quickly from the contest and run hard and long, um, <laughs> the team certainly did better, did uh, did that better than what we did. Um, so that that's certainly that's a big trend that I've found is just the ability to repeat those sort of efforts. You know, contested footy, run hard and long, contested footy, run hard and long again, and the ability to use the footy. Yeah, that, that's and that's and that's probably a, a focus from from AFL too. That's sort of infiltrated back down to the VFL. Yeah, well, it's sort of it's a question that's been sort of bandied around a fair bit in, in recent weeks. Um, look, they they've done a terrific job. Um, I think you know, looking at their list, yeah, they've got an average age of 24 and a half. Yeah, they've got they've got five they've got five 27 year olds on their VFL list alone. So they buffered a lot of they buffer a lot of pressure particularly from the Geelong listed boys, particularly their younger draftees. So they take a lot of the pressure. Um, yeah, so, but they've done well. They've worked on that list for you know, three or four years now. You know, they've had a number of guys that have sort of been in their VFL system um, and have stayed around. And that's something that we'd like to emulate. And that's not, that's not something that's going to happen overnight. That's, that's something we've got to sort of plan for and, and look to build over the next sort of three, four, five years. Oh, I think you know, guys like you, you, you'd like to see guys like Paul Seisman, Jared Witts, 
um, those those guys in particular that continue to progress. Like Paul was pretty good this year. He played 11 or 12 games, which he hasn't de debuted yet. But yeah, we'd like to think that he would get his opportunity next year with another good summer. Um, yeah, those guys, those guys in particular, um, the continued improvement of you know, Jamie Elliott, um, uh, yeah, for Solo, those type of guys that yeah, are sort of still young in the system. Um, yeah, you'd like to think that they'll continue to improve and improve their footy.